What's up everybody, Gamerboy for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to export your hat client. Now, warning, this is not the end of this series, I will be making more videos on it, it's just I want to show you guys how to export it into Minecraft so you guys can start playing around with the mods on servers and stuff. Now, I do not take responsibility if you get banned on servers because you're likely to get banned using any type of hacks. So, anyways, let's just jump straight into this. So, we need to be inside of Eclipse. We're going to go to File, Export. We're going to click Java, Jar File. We're going to click the arrow next to Client and select the Source folder. And make sure these two are not pressed at all. Alrighty, and now we're going to uh, just click Finish. You can select the export location. I already had it set to my desktop. And now we don't need Eclipse or anything anything else. Now, this is going to take uh, a lot of stuff. So this is our hack client jar file, but we are not finished with it yet. We need to go into our hack client uh, source folder. So we're going to go to paradox.jar, right click and open with WinRAR. You're going to see all types of files in here. One, we're going to delete start.class. Uh, just let that delete and we need to delete meta.env we'll never ever have a meta.env folder inside of our client it just causes issues it's not worth it trust me and now uh first things first we're just gonna add in our discord rpc so we're gonna right click and open it with winrar come on uh, we're going to take all of the files except meta-inf and drag it and drop them into Eclipse or into Paradox, sorry. And now once we did that, we're going to go back into our source. We're going to do jars, library, io, netty, netty all, final, right click this jar file and open it with winrar. Now we're going to drag and drop the io io folder into here and click ok so as you can see our jar file is building up already which is pretty cool oh my headset just turned off <laughs> sorry it makes a weird sound every time it does it uh now last thing we need to do with this we need to go into percent app data percent which you could type in here or if you press windows key r you could type it into here and it'll open up this folder we need to go to the dot minecraft scroll to see your versions folder and find 1.8.8 now we need to open up the 1.8.8 jar file with winrar now once we have this open first things we're gonna take the whole assets folder and drag and drop it so when mcp grabs all the assets from minecraft it's just the ones it needs to operate our client technically has no assets inside of it. <laughs> so that just fixes all the blanks. And now instead of WinRAR, all you got to do is type in a log. And you'll see a log4j2.xml. We need to take uh, this file into our hack client. And now we need one more and that's pack.png. This pack, pack file is the... Uh, default resource pack if you don't put that in here it's not going to work unfortunately uh now we're done using winrar so now our jar file is good to go but as you could know when you look at any minecraft version there's not just a jar file there's also a json file so i will leave this down in the description it's a modified json file which basically is just the normal 1.8.8 json file but it has none of the download links in it so this won't override your hack client and just for normal minecraft um all you got to do is where it says id uh so when you download it it's going to say paradox change that to uh exactly what you named your jar file uh capitalization spelling everything matters so you see how it's paradox.jar capital p we have to put paradox capital p here and same thing goes with the json file this also has to be capitalized spelled correctly and the folder you're going to put it into has to work the same way. So now we're just going to drag all these files into Paradox folder. We're going to open up our app data again. Minecraft. 
versions. So I already did this because I was testing to make sure this works. So I'm going to delete my old one, drag and drop the new one to here. We're going to go open up Minecraft. Uh, first things first, you're going to go to installations. I already have mine, but I'll delete this for the video. We're going to create a new installation. This, it doesn't matter what you name it. So I am just going to name it Paradox. Latest version. You need to scroll down until you see Release Paradox or your client name. And click Create. Then we're going to go over to Play. We're going to find our Phantom. Or not. Sorry, not Phantom. We're going to find Paradox. And click Play. It's going to warn you that the version you're playing is modified. And that's fine. Now if you load up, it'll say loading Paradox Client. Paradox 1.8.8. .8. Alright, so now we can just uh, go into a world. Let it load. And as you can see, Paradox FPS counter shows all of that stuff. Just to show you it is working, if we press B, Fastbow, it's working. Um, if we press right shift, we can see all of our mods. So just to show you some of these do work, jetpack, all you gotta do is hold space and you just start flying up. You are gonna take fall damage once you hit the ground though. Yep. <laughs> and that's why if we enable no fall and did it, we don't take fall damage. And look, jetpack is so broken. If you just sprint forward with no fall, you can literally zoom around the map. It's great. Oh, what happens if I enable speed at the same time? Oh, speed only works when we're on the ground, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I will, um, in the future, I'm going to show you how to add, like, bars and stuff so you can adjust how fast each mod's going. But for now, I think that'll work. Um, I, there's a few of these I didn't get to show. I think, like, dolphin, spider. So if we go into the water, uh, that's not going to work. That's only one deep. Uh, one sec, let me find an ocean real quick. Alright, so now I'm going to just go into game mode zero. My hands are off of the keyboard at the moment, and dolphin just keeps you swimming. I don't think I coded Jesus, did I? I didn't make Jesus. Oh no. Also, never click GUI. Click GUI and render. It will break the GUI. Um, I guess I can show you what spider does super quickly. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for this video. I think I told someone that I would make this for this video, and I told someone else that I was going to do something else, but whoever did this, I will leave their uh, comment or Discord uh, request on screen. Um, all you got to do is... I follow my Discord requests a lot more than the YouTube ones, just because on YouTube, I'm getting like a tons of them, and uh, no offense, I am going to try to put all that into the client eventually, it's just right now. I don't have a lot of time, so I am only really doing the Discord ones at the moment. If you guys do enjoy though, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.